There she is, being annoying right on cue, just as I expected her to be. <laughs> well, anyway, getting past Navi's annoyance. Hi guys, I am Sirachime, and I welcome you back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we pretty much just went around Lake Hylia in the Kokiri Forest, planting some magical beans, getting some gold sculptulas, collecting a couple of heart pieces, all the while dealing with the constant annoying fairy that is our companion. And in this episode, we're pretty much going to be doing more of the same. We're going to go to a few other locations we haven't went to yet that I'd like to visit and collect a few things for before we finally go to Hyrule Castle and give Princess Zelda the spiritual stones that we have collected. So yeah, we've got quite a bit to do, and once again, I'm just going to ignore Navi and the fact that she wants to talk to us. Because quite frankly, with how annoying she's been, I could care less. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on with our adventure and go to the next location I would like to visit, which is actually the Lon Lon Ranch. So we're going to go ahead and make our way up there now. There's a couple of gold sculptulas there that we can now get, now that we have the boomerang. And oh, oh, I am so sorry. I hate these stupid stall children. I don't have to make that any clear. I've already... Ah! Stop it! Oh, I hate these things. I don't know why either. They're just... Ah. Well, you'd hate them too if you were me. Actually, you probably wouldn't. I don't know who on earth would want to be just like me because I am the most unique individual you will probably ever meet. Ah! St stupid things! Navi! Shut up! I don't care! Quit trying to talk to me! You were annoying all last episode and you're starting off again. Mm. And it seems like she bugs me the most when there are these things out and about. Ugh. Okay. Well, we're just about at the ranch. Ugh. As I was saying, we're just about at the ranch now. And we actually kind of need to make it there before sunrise, or else we cannot get the gold sculptures that are in there. Well, that was a complete waste of time. Okay, Sunsong. Because we can now make it night. That's one of the best things about this game. I love that you can play the Sunsong, make it daytime or nighttime, anytime you want. Okay, so just like that, we've lost an entire day. If you come back in here when it is nighttime, like I said, there are a couple of sculptures that we can now officially get. The first one being that there was one up here crawling on that window. And yet somehow it's right over where Talon and them are living. I don't know how you don't notice that or hear that. Of course, kind of think of it, I didn't notice it the first time I came in here. But anyway, use our slingshot to do the, the, that thing of catching these sculptures. Navi identified, boomerang it! There we go, gold sculpture number 37. Or 38. Don't really know. <laughs> uh, we'll get that checked out in just a little while. Navi! No! Not going to talk to you! So... There! Ah. I know there's probably many of you probably in the comments right now saying, Just talk to the stupid fairy. Well, I would, but honestly, it's not going to do a bit of good because she's just going to be constantly annoying you. I've already talked to her twice, and she's still being annoying. So yeah, there's no way to fix this without getting on with our adventure. She really wants us to do that. Anyway, getting away from that, here's another gold sculpture. So, once again, slingshot this thing. Or boomerang it, that works too. You stupid thing, well, new enemy I guess I can identify. These things are called Gwei. Destroy it before it flies into you. Do with a slingshot or boomerang, either way works. Navi! Not going to do it. I never realized how annoying Navi was until I've done this Let's Play. I'm dead serious. I never realized how bad she was until this Let's Play. Okay, there's Gold Skulltula number 38 or 39, something like that. But yeah, sir- Navi? No! It's not going to happen! Seriously! So I was saying, I've heard people say that Navi was very annoying, but until I did this Let's Play, I didn't realize how much! So, yeah, those of you that said Navi was annoying, I didn't think so. I stand corrected. She is the most annoying character I think I've ever experienced just because she says, Hey! Ugh. <sighs> she ranks up there with some of the most annoying characters in the world. Like Carl from Walking Dead. <laughs> I don't know how many of you actually have seen that. Uh, if you have, though, you can't tell me that Carl is not annoying. By the way, done with all the skulls, skulls, and everything here, so we're heading over towards Kakariko Village now. Anyway. Be honest with me. Do you... Ah! Stupid stomp children, I hate these... Anyways, I was saying. Do you not... Do you guys not find Carl annoying? Those of you that like watching Walking Dead and 
If you don't, uh, what is it a what is it about him that you guys like? I mean, literally everything he does, he's responsible for all the natural disasters and everything. Yeah, it's amazing that I draw similarities between Navi and Carl. <laughs> I actually find that hilarious. <laughs> Navi. <laughs> yes, they are exactly alike. Every time I watch Walking Dead, I wish. Death on the child that is Carl. They make the show so much better. Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyway, what I was doing... I actually came over here for... We need the bombs in order to make the next part successful. Because if you blow a hole over here by this tree... Ah! Sorry. Blow a hole by the tree, you stupid stole children. Get away from me. Thank you for dying. Okay, you go down this hole... There is yet another gold sculpture here. So we're going to go ahead and take advantage of this now. There's also one of these things. I'm not really sure what it is. You have here a big sculpture. It's a soft belly, so yeah, just do with that as you will. We'll be seeing these a lot throughout the game. But we want this gold sculpture up there, so if we can hit this thing without hitting the, this whatever it is. There we go. All right. Navi, find it. Identify it. And boomerang it. There we go. Gold Sculptula number 39. Or 40. Something like that. Don't really know at this point. Okay, so we get done with that. We're going to go ahead and head up, because there's nothing else here that I want to take care of. At least not over here. And instead, we're actually going to head over to the Kakariko Village to do a couple of things there. First things first, heading up the th stairs. Because stairs are awesome like that. Ooh, it, well, what I really like about stairs? Escalators. Those things you could just stand and just go. You know how awesome life would be if they had escalators on sidewalks or sidewalk escalators? <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. Uh, I doubt it would do anything for the obesity problem that <laughs> the modern age faces. Uh, first world problems. <laughs> but, yeah, it would be, it would be interesting. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Okay, if you're wondering what I'm doing now, I actually want to get a magic bean, because we're going to need these things. Gonna plant yet a few more magic beans to do a few more things. Oh. Navi! No, not going to do it. Man. Okay, I have officially identified varying degrees of annoyance. There is the casual bugging that casual people do. There is the annoying that I do, where my family wants to kill me but doesn't. And then there is Carl slash Navi annoying, where you want them to die and wish it no matter what. <laughs> okay. Yes, Navi's so annoying, she's got her own layer or level of annoyance. Well, anyway, we're going to plant a bean here. I recommend you do this before we progress on with the story. For reasons you will see why, probably in the next episode. Oh, who knows? Navi! I'm not going to talk to you so there. My gosh, you're annoying me. I can't imagine what you, what the viewers might be thinking right now. All right, boomerang that. That will get us gold sculpture number 40, I do believe. For the first time ever, I think I'm actually going to check this out, because we got 40. Yes, we have 40. And the me that is editing this right now will have already known that will probably be saying, well, duh. Yes, I talk to myself when I'm editing my videos, like, why did I do this, and why did I do that, and everything else like that. Anyway, what I actually want to do with these gold sculptures, now that we have 40 of them, is we can actually redeem two of these... Well, we can actually redeem for the 30 gold sculptures and 40. So yeah, we can get special prizes accordingly. One of which is really good, the second one's not that good, but we're still going to get it all the same. So we'll get back here to the house of the sculptula next to the most wonderful house in the world, and it's only that way because Andrew lives in it. <laughs> okay, and once we make it in here, like I said, there are two different people here. If you talk to one of them, the first one, talk to him, he says, The curse has been broken! Thank you! Here's a reward for you. For doing the 40 gold sculpture, I do this one first because this item is not that good. Look what I got! We got the worthless bomb chew that nobody ever cares about and will only use one time in this entire game. Yes, I'm not kidding. We will use this one time in this game and that's it. So yeah, unlike the Deku sticks where you think this thing is actually useful, no it is not. So yeah, that was totally a waste. I could have totally left you in your cursed state and not have cared. But this guy right here, for getting 30 gold sculptures, this guy right here is actually useful. Talk to him, he says the same thing. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. 
And now we get a much more impressive thing. Look what I got! We got a giant's wallet. What a huge wallet! Now you can carry up to 500 rupees, which is an upgrade from our adult wallet of 200. So we pretty much made the reward from the first gold, well, the first 10 gold sculptulas obsolete. We have one more to get, but he will only be broken when we actually get 50 gold sculptulas, something that will be accomplished much sooner rather than later. But for now, you guys just chill. And we will kind of do various things with these things accordingly when we get a chance. Okay, so with that, we've got one more place that I would like to visit. And I'd actually like to go to Death Mountain for this one. Now, if you're kind of just totally lost as to what I'm doing, I'm not really going for a heart piece or a gold sculpture as much as I'm just going to plant a seed. So we're actually not going to be on Death Mountain all that long. Just kind of do with that what you will. For some reason, I thought I saw something over there. But no! I am going blind, apparently. Something that could be possible. I mean, well, actually, I don't know if it is or not. Well, any bike could go blind. I'm nearsighted. Let's just leave it at that. Navi? Mm. You know, you're about to pass Carl on the annoying scale. I mean, right now you're tied with him, but... <sighs> okay. Well, once we get up here, I'm not going to spend a great deal of time up here, like I said. I'm just more or less here to plant a little seed, and I'm going to be on my way. Okay, plant our seed, because that's what I want to do. Once it sprouts... Bingo! We are done! I have done everything I've wanted to do in Hyrule, at least at this moment in time. Except throw a rock. Now that I've done that, I'll recover my hearts. We're gonna need these for later. Don't care about Dodongo's Cavern, the place that is not... Navi! I am going to find a way to kill you, and I will do it! <clears throat> Die! Navi! Not! going to talk to you for the last time. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Uh, you're making Carl look nice. <laughs> making Carl look decent. I don't know. Alright, we're gonna go ahead... Um, I'm pretty much done with my side quest stuff, so... Yeah, that's pretty much all that I really wanted to do as far as, well, main quest stuff, so... Yeah. And there we got that item, and I totally forgot how I was going to... I totally forgot that I was going to explain this to you guys. Well, pretty much, real quick, just Faroars win, the way it works. If you use it inside of a dungeon, it will set up a warp point at the entrance of the dungeon, and anywhere in the dungeon that you're pretty much at, you can just warp back to the entrance if you need to go to there in a hurry. So yeah, there's that. Just kind of do with that what you will, and if you're wondering what I'm doing... Well, I am just coming to take one last good look at my crush and say goodbye. Goodbye, Anju. You are the cutest thing in Hyrule. Totally over Malin. Navi? Fine. What is so important that you have annoyed me and every person on the planet watching me? Listen. You collected three spiritual stones. Let's go back to Hyrule Castle. <sighs> so you interrupted our entire adventure just to state the obvious. Words cannot begin to describe right now how much I hate Navi. Alright, we're gonna go in a little bit, but like I said, I just wanted to say goodbye to this beautiful woman before we left. And now that I have done that, we're gonna go back to Hyrule Castle because Navi just absolutely refuses to let this go. <laughs> I guess we'll head back. We have pretty much done everything that I've wanted to do as far as, well, all the basic stuff around here, so... Yeah, we've pretty much seen the world, and you know what? Himbo was right. As much as I kind of not like nature, and this place being pretty much the epitome of nature, well, not this place, but where we've been to, Hyrule's kind of nice. Impa was definitely right. We need to protect this wonderful, beautiful land that is Hyrule. Hyrule Field is nice. Death Mountain, while dirty, is nice. The Kokiri Forest, while too green for my nature, is nice. Zora's Domain, while I can't swim, is nice. So, yeah, there's a lot of nice things about it. We definitely must protect it, so I guess that'd be a good enough reason as any to get back to Hyrule Castle and save, well, I'll get these things as Princess Zelda so that we could save Hyrule, but the drawbridge is up. During the day? That's never happened before. What's all this about? Why on earth is the drawbridge up during the day? That is, that is not usual. And it's rather stormy out. Horses? What is all this about?
This is looking eerily familiar. No, this couldn't be, could it? Royal horse coming our way? Link, look out! Princess Zelda with Impa? Wait, what? what's going on here? Whoa! It's Alien Dwarf! Arrgh! I lost her! You, over there! Little kid! Again, with the nicknames. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did they go? Answer me! Okay, so apparently Ganondorf is not that happy. What's your response, Link? So, you think you can protect them from me? You got guts, kid. Well, I've got more than that. Link, pull out the nuclear sticks! And you pull out the Kokiri sword. Yeah, I would laugh too. The sticks are much more threatening. You want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. And here we will see Ganondorf do a weird Dragon Ball Z thing. That's what you get, Link, for not pulling out the sticks. Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you are dealing with? I am Ganondorf, and soon I will rule the world. More like Alien Dwarf, but yes, I can see how that would be a little frightening. And what's kind of scary is while he rides off after Zelda, We've just been through the Great Deku Tree, defeated a parasitic arachnid, an infernal dinosaur, and a parasitic monster, but we couldn't do anything against that sorcerer. That is somewhat alarming, if there was ever something to be alarming about. Okay, well, for being somebody that I resemble an alien and call Alien Dwarf, that is a little bit worrisome, but Zelda... Where did she go? Why was she fleeing? Well, obviously from Ganondorf, but... Unless something else I forgot about this is what did she drop yeah if you make yourself useful what is that what's that again you are of absolutely no use well you know what Zelda threw it but what is it and why was it so important that she left this behind right, get this thing and there we go look what I got what do we find you found the Ocarina of Time this is the royal family's hidden treasure which Zelda left behind. It glows with a mystic with a mythical mystical light. Excuse me. But why did Zelda leave this thing behind? What is going on here? Apparently Link's entering a trance-like state. Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. Link, when you hold this ocarina in your hand. I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you the ocarina and this melody. You've learned the Song of Time.
Now, Link, play this melody in front of the altar in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Yeah, that was a little weird and freaky. It was like we were with Zelda for a brief moment. <laughs> Zelda must be really magical. And hey, our, up our ocarina has been upgraded. And that's something that does kind of bother me a little bit. Actually, press the start button. The fairy ocarina is no more. Instead, we had the ocarina of time, which, don't get me wrong, I love the ocarina of time more because blue is my favorite color. But we have just completely thrown away the fairy ocarina which was supposed to be a memento from Saria, and then we just throw it away for no reason because we got another ocarina from a pretty girl. So yeah, that's kind of weird. There, I realize it just called Zelda pretty, but... Well, anyway, I really don't know what all that was about. Apparently, Zelda couldn't stick around because... I guess Ganondorf was onto her or something, so... Why don't we head in town and actually go talk to a few people, see if maybe we can't find out what was up. Alright, so dude, you must have seen what happened here. What do you have to say? Welcome to Hyrule Castle Town. It's a peaceful, prosperous town. Apparently you're blind and did not see whatever just transpired back there. Well, he's not going to be of any use. So make it back here. Maybe a couple of the townspeople might have something they want to say. Alright, got a couple of people here. We'll talk to Doofus and Doofuser. Something like that. I almost got kicked by that black horse. What about you, dude? You say the same thing. Well, I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to you. Guy in red shirt. Look at that guy. He's so scared. What a wimp. Ha ha ha. I think you're both wimps, but I'm just... Does anybody have anything in here that might be useful? Talk to him. That guy riding on the black horse must have been Ganondorf, who is the renowned... Excuse me, who is renowned as the Gerudo King of Thieves. Okay, not really useful, useful information. What about you? Did you see anything? I know you're the jerk that likes to spy on young people. Wasn't that Princess Zelda riding on the white horse? Yes, you of all people would know that. Well, apparently these people, despite the fact that two horses came racing past here, one of them on a black horse and the other one with Princess Zelda, don't really seem to care. Oh well, I hope you guys discover what it means to be... I don't know. Can't think of anything bad to doom you people with. I hope you people drop your chips. So there. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Yes, that's the absolute best I could think up right now. Well, anyway, Princess Zelda said if we played the Song of Time in front of the altar, we could get the Triforce, so... Why don't we actually go get the Triforce and see if we can't do something to undo the mess that, well, poor Zelda's gotten herself into. Okay, so the Temple of Time's just back here, and... That's actually a lovely view of Death Mountain. I like that. It's one of my favorite things about this particular area, but... Okay. Here we go, our first time inside of the Temple of Time, one of my favorite locations in the game. As we make it in here and see it, we can see that there's the altar from our vision, so apparently this is where Zelda was when she gave us that message, or at least telekinetic message, or whatever it might be. So let's go up here and see if there's anything up here worth our time, or at least as far as what we could do. Navi, do the thing! There are three hollows and an inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones, which we now have, stand with the Ocarina of Time, which we now have, and play the Song of Time, which we now know. That is how the inscription reads. Okay, so we have the three spiritual stones, we have the Ocarina of Time. Let's play the Song of Time and see what happens. Alright, so there we play the Song of Time, which is one of my favorite songs in this game. I've just activated something. It has apparently the three spiritual stones that we have collected. Spiritual Stone of the Forest, which we got from the Great Deku Tree. The Goron's Emerald, or the Goron's Ruby, that we got from Darunia for helping him clear out the Dodongo's Cavern. And the Zora Sapphire, which we got at the most precious possession of Rudo, for helping Lord Jabu Jabu. And by doing so, apparently we have activated the Triforce symbol just above the door of time that has opened up to a new pathway. I don't know what we've just done, but I am very curious to see what is back here. Could the Triforce be back here? Ooh, must go and find out. As we make it back here, apparently Navi's seen something. 
Link, isn't that... Isn't that what? What do you see, Navi? It's the legendary blade. The master sword. Well, apparently we have just located the master sword, whatever that might happen to be. If you're a Legend of Zelda fan, you know what that is. If you don't, well, we'll just kind of leave it to what Link might think of it right now as a child. Ooh, it is a sword stuck in a stone, and it is shiny. You know what a child must do with shiny things? If it is shiny, we must touch it. So touching the sword, touching the shiny thing. All right, I touched it, and oh no, what have I done? Oh no! <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Ha 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 